Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 5. So, I think I'm going to declare war on Carthage once I finish researching Dynamite. Because I feel like that's one of the best windows of opportunity that we'll get against Carthage. We have a lot of musket men, so that's going to be a lot of Gatling guns. And they got 48 combat strength. Ranged combat strength, that is. So that will give us a major advantage against Carthage, actually. And then we can also take Vilnius. That's the plan. Just need to move into proper positions. And maybe repair the field guns back to full. We are not declaring war yet, we are waiting for dynamite. And once we finish dynamite, I'll try to build the Eiffel Tower. Attila wants to be friends. I think I might accept that. Maybe. You know what, sure, we can accept that. Why the heck not? We'll get a trading partner. I'm okay with that. And since we plan declaring war on Carthage, let's maybe get out of here with our explorer. That's definitely a good idea. And another musket man. That's going to be barrage one. Alright then. And next up is a lancer. We could actually try to build a Slater Mill in Assor. It requires a city on a river. So Assor is our highest production city on a river. I don't think I want to use the Great Engineer for that, I'd rather save him for the Eiffel Tower. But we could try, it's not a bad wonder. You know what, let's try. I don't think we have a lot of competition for that. And if we declare war on Carthage, they might be too distracted with the war. We'll see. Anyway, a few more roads. Yep, that one. That will allow us to move around faster. And that tile is actually in range of Sao Paulo. Might as well improve it. Alright then, now question is, do we have enough units in the east to go to war with Carthage? I think we do. And we got a few more coming. Should be doable. The only problem is that we'll need more than two field guns, most likely. But we'll see about that. Their cities actually have a pretty low combat strength. Especially compared to Monty. We should be able to take something. Turfan would be pretty easy. It only has 30. We'll see. With the Gatling guns, it should be doable. So, anything else? I don't think we need a road down here. That seems slightly excessive. Oh, and there was a wonder that we wanted in Hippo Regius. What was that exactly? Oh yeah, that was Neuschweinstein. Right here, in Hippo Regius. We could try that one too, but... Probably not as the first target. No, that's definitely not going to be the first target. Alright, so, back to full health here. Let's move into better positions. Like this. This guy still needs one more turn. He's at 98. Okay. So, west. Then maybe one more melee unit in range. In case we'll need him. And up here. Alright, so we are in proper positions. Looks good to me. This city should go down pretty quickly. I don't think Italy stands a chance. No, it definitely does not. Trespassing. Yeah, I'm aware. Shaka declared war on Carthage, really? I thought it would be other way around. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Oh, wow. Holy crap. He has a lot of ships. And he built all that with, like, five cities? Okay. I did not expect to see this. That's a lot of frigates, look at that. He will actually be able to take something. Carthage is actually in trouble here. Okay. Anyway, there's the armory. We still need a library in here. Yeah, we need quite a few things. Definitely a library. And then probably market. Yep, sounds good to me. And you. Oh yeah, we finished the lumber mill. Okay then. We could build another fort. 
I don't think we'll need one. But it's not like I can use this tile for anything else. I can't get a village in here. So you know what? Let's build a fort. It won't hurt. There's certainly no downside. Alright then. So, yep, move up a little bit. We are going to need a few units in the south. Because Carthage does have a city over there. So she might decide to attack through here. Just some basic defenses, that will be fine. And, right, this tile is not inside our borders, but we can buy it. Yeah, otherwise it will take a little bit too long. That will be a mine. And let's go east. I do have a frigate queued up. And not here. Yeah, right here. We are already working on that. Because we will need some kind of navy, if only to defend ourselves against other navies, you know. And I suppose we can just declare war. Oh, the city-state is not allied with Carthage anymore. We could also ask for tribute. Demand supplies worth 579 production. Interesting. So we could do that and then declare war. I don't see why not. It will be delivered to our capital. That will speed up the field gun quite a lot. Wait, how much production was that again? Ask for tribute. 579 production. That's a lot of production. That is very tempting. How much total production does a field gun require? Let's see... Okay, 1300. Yeah, this will probably finish the field gun. Sure, let's do that. Why the heck not? Yes, I'm sure. Here. So then we can still declare war. And that's exactly what we're going to do. One more guy in Mela range. We can move in with the musket men, that should be fine. And more firepower certainly won't hurt. I can also move him one tile to the west. Yep, to the tile with gems. We are not in a huge rush. Next. I'm curious how this war will go. I'm pretty sure Shaka will conquer some cities. I will be surprised if he doesn't. We need horses. Oh, we got a unit that requires horses. We are at zero, that's fine. Oh yeah, that's the unique unit from Sidon. What does this guy have again? Let's see. Oh yeah, he starts with March. That's the Swedish unique unit. 15% combat bonus when stacked with a great general. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. And deals damage to all adjacent units after advancing from killing a unit. Right. So there's the great general combat bonus. 15% combat bonus when there's a great general on the same tile. He only has 29 combat strength though. Will he keep the special promotions when we upgrade him? Maybe. Let's find out. I'm not actually sure. Yeah, he will. Interesting. So he kept Marge and he kept Grenadiers. Very nice. Just need to remember which one it is. Anyway, what else do we need around here? One more village. We can certainly get that. Alright then. So, six more turns to finish dynamite. We are definitely going to wait for that. Clear the marsh. And you go here, and the musket man goes west. Okay, even more frigates. Holy crap. He has a massive navy. I did not expect that. And he doesn't have that many cities. I'm not sure when he had the time to build all that. But apparently he did. Hey, I'm okay with that. He will help us against Carthage. Trespassing. Oh no. What are you going to do about it? Probably nothing. Bonus yields update. Food and culture, gold and science. Alright then. So, we got the farm. And we are working it. That will be six food. We needed that badly. 
And now we can declare war. Might as well do that. So this won't be very hard. We can probably ignore that frigate. Although, it might not be a bad idea to get rid of it. Sure, we can get rid of it. But we'll be focusing mostly on the city. Obviously. The units will go away as soon as we conquer the city. Here. So they only got city bombardment and one frigate. That won't be too much damage. Not too worried about that. So this guy, he can stay around here. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Hurricane strikes Carthage. Interesting. The city was not well prepared and was horribly damaged. That's great news. Oh wow, it lost city walls. It's down to 15 combat strength. That's rough. That is very rough. It's a shame we can't reach it easily. Especially with all these mountains blocking the way. But hey, that's great news. So, plus 300 food in Asor, very nice. Let's keep moving in this direction. And how's Asor doing? I think we can make it grow one more time. Yeah, in 10 turns. It will delay Slater Mill, however. I don't think I want that. It can grow later, it's fine. There's no huge rush. We got an Inquisitor. So do we pillage this or do we back up? We can repair it easily enough. How quickly can we take this city? Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to pillage it. We can repair it easily enough. It's fine. We can just move in to be ready to repair it as soon as we get the city. And there's another field gun. We'll take Siege 1 and Siege 2 because their job will be actually taking cities. We got three turns to get dynamite. So then we'll upgrade all the musket men and declare war right away. I don't want to wait too long. We need to get started ASAP. While Carthage is busy with Shaka. Okay, next. 42 combat strength. Yeah, should be doable. We could probably get one more field gun. Yeah, let's maybe get one more field gun. 11 turns. Sure. One more. There's another musket man. We are at 35 out of 40 supply. Okay. Two more turns to finish dynamite. Back to Vilnius. Okay, then. So, how's your health? 39. I think the city will be ours on the next turn. Yep, maybe. Possibly. I can't quite take it right now. It's probably best if we back up. Yeah, let's just play it safe, it's fine. There's the Inquisitor, send him to our capital. There you go. We still need more Inquisitors, I'm afraid. Yes, we do. Alright, well, we'll get them. Next. I think that Lancer is stuck in our territory. Does Shaka have open borders from us? Uh, yes, he actually does. Interesting. How about we trade? Yep. Looks good to me. Enjoy your trade. You know, we might not be able to upgrade every single musket man. Oh, nice. Golden Age. That was so convenient. Look at our gold now. Almost 15,000. That was actually great. That was so good. Yeah, look at this. Instant yield. Plus 5,839 gold. And plus 1,557 tourism. That's actually pretty crazy. How's our influence right now? Let's see. Shaka is at 38 culture. That's slightly surprising. Okay then. 
Shaka is surprisingly strong for someone with only 5 cities. And 38 tags. Yeah. That explains why he went insanely crazy in my previous game. If you watch that one. He spiraled so much out of control in that one. But the fact he's so strong with only 5 cities right here kind of explains that. I'm not sure how he managed that, but he managed that somehow. Anyway, market is done. What's next? Akedoct probably wouldn't hurt. Also, university definitely wouldn't hurt. Alright, let's keep moving. And I think the city will be ours. Either right now or on the next turn. No, it's ours. Here, nice. Yes, I'm sure I want to attack. I will be annexing it. Yes. We need better production base near Monty. Because we will be fighting him more, that's just a matter of time really. And we'll queue up the courthouse right away. And then city walls. Alright, carry on. That was nice and quick. Now, I was planning to attack Napoleon to take a city from him. But I'm not sure if I want to do that right now. We'll see. There's the fort, it's already finished. That was quick. And two more turns to finish dynamite. Then we can also get started on the Eiffel Tower. That's the plan. Do we need any more tile improvements? I'm not seeing any. Okay. 12 turns to finish the Slater mill. I actually hope we get that one. It would be a nice production boost for Asur. And we would get some more coal. And we would get a factory for free in there. When we can't actually build factories yet. It would be quite helpful. So, oh yeah, promotion for this guy. Trailblazer, that's the only one we can get. More yields. Maybe back up slightly. One turn. And let's queue up the next tech, shall we? They are already queued up. Yeah, we definitely need scientific theory ASAP. So that's what we'll be doing. Yep, sounds good to me. And let's spread out slightly. Melayun is to the front, obviously. Okay then. That will do. For now. Assyria denounced us. Ask me if I care. No, not really. Shaka wants to buy coal. Sorry bro, I kind of need my coal. I'm just saying. He will take the city from Carthage, definitely. And there's dynamite. Nice. How's the tech count right now? Monty has 44. Carthage has 46, we got 41, Shaka has 38, Attila has 36, France has 43, Assyria has 33. Right. So, what do we get next? First, let's start upgrading. So now we should be able to afford everything. We need 970 gold per unit. We can at least upgrade all the musket men close to Carthage. So, like this. That leaves us with 8600. One more down here. Okay, these are all the ones on the Carthaginian border. The rest are west, close to Monty. And another field gun. I hope this will be enough. It better be enough. Well, only one way to find out. I hope we can do this. The city-state will help us out a little bit. Let's just move around. Yeah, this is fine. And now... The Eiffel Tower. Oh, we need one additional policy before we can build the Eiffel Tower. Okay, if you say so. We got 17 turns. I wonder if we'll have any competition for that. We might. 
Hmm. Yeah, we might actually have some competition. I will still try. It's a nice wonder. What do we build next? Some units. Fusilier, eight turns. Let's get some more melee units. Although we are at 35 out of 38. Customs house, circles, caravanzari, two turns. You know what? Let's grab a caravanzari. It's only two turns. Might as well grab one. As for the workers, looks like we already got all the improvements we needed in this area. I could automate some of them. Yeah, I'm going to automate at least one or two of them. And we'll be declaring war on the next turn. Looking forward to it. Should be fun. We should actually be able to win this one. I'm pretty sure we can. And we are about to get a great artist. Come on. There he is. So if I wanted to, I could use him to extend the Golden Age. But we still need more great works, so let's get more great works. Here we go. We might be able to get a theming bonus for that one. Uh, that's not what I called optimize. No, not really. Uh, hold on. Swap and optimize. There. Nice. Oh yeah, we can't get any theming bonus with great works of art just yet. We don't have any building that can get theming bonuses from that. That's fine, we'll get them. That's plus 30 tourism. And oh, we found a city-state! Yerevan. Okay. Interesting. Our happiness is still fine. So, time to declare war, I think. Maybe we can convince someone else to also declare war? Probably not. No, almost certainly not, but hey, we can try. No. Well, actually, hold on, he would actually do it? Let me try that again. Maybe we can declare war together. Shall we declare war against Carthage? No. Okay. He would actually do it. But he wants some gold. Yeah, we can give him Brazil wood. And then, like, two iron. And he will actually do it! There we go, he actually did it. Nice. I don't think he will do a whole lot, but maybe he will send his fleet to attack their cities. I just want more sieves to be at war with Carthage. And now we can declare war ourselves, should be fun. Alright, let's do this. I don't think we will be at war with any city-states that are close to our borders. No. This one is about the closest. But that doesn't matter. Oh, and we lost our alliance here. Might want to get that fixed. We can send a trade route. Will we have one spare sometime soon? In nine turns. We can send this one once it expires. And maybe one more diplomatic unit. Yeah, let's get one more diplomatic unit there. That won't hurt. And let's get started. This will take a while. So, oh yeah, we got plus one range for our city bombardment now. That will be quite helpful too. And we can pillage the trade route, good. That's 600 gold. Let's push. How much damage can we do? Yeah, that won't be too bad, considering these aren't exactly siege units. Yeah, I think we should push hard. They do have some units around there. But let's start actually threatening her cities ASAP. And obviously we'll have to kill the units. Okay, here you go. Can we finish off that guy? Almost. Actually, yes, we can kill him. Alright, let's kill him. Just like that. Then more to the front. 
Like this. Our Gatling gun can be down here. Yep, that will be fine. They won't be able to attack it because of zone of control. And then Torfan, or maybe this city. The one she forward settled us with. Yep, we can try that one. That one will be a little bit easier to attack. And we'll use the field guns against this one. Just be careful. Let's see, swap these two. Down here. And another upgrade needed. Here you go. This is our best chance. Now that she's also busy fighting Shaka. And we have a military advantage. How about we just move towards that city from the south as well? Yeah. We can do that. Anything else? Nope. Well, we don't have a Lancer. Might also bring him. Oh, and we can see hidden antiquity sites now. There's one in the middle of our territory. Good to know. Let's see what she's going to do. She's friends with the Hans. The creation of friendship with Shaka. Yeah, I will definitely accept that. Plus 300 food in Belo Horizonte. Oh yeah, that's nice one. That's the city to the west. Close to Monty. 20 turns to make it grow. We got another Inquisitor. Yep, we still need them. And let's see. First, city bombardment. Then Gatling gun. That was almost a kill. But not quite. Here. That will be good enough. Then we can pillage to heal ourselves. And let's move into a city's bombardment range. I want to get started as soon as possible. And move a few sealer to the front. It's a ranged unit inside, but we don't know what she has behind the city inside the fog of war. Okay. And the other city. I wonder if we can take this one just with Gatling guns. Might be doable. If nothing else, we'll get some good experience. I'm okay with that. So, these fellas. Let's see. Need to think about this one. Can't quite hit him with the other Gatling gun. I can't use either. Okay, never mind. That is not so good. And we can't attack the city from here either, because there are two hills blocking the way. So, I can't do much with the Gatling guns from our current position. We can move into better positions for the next turn. That's about it. And the Great General should be more to the south, obviously. Alright, just fortify, actually. Yep, that will do. Move this way. And push out a little bit more. Here, that will be just fine. Anything else? And here, yeah, we can push from the south. Here, we got a cannon. Good to know. Definitely need to get rid of that. That should be pretty easy now that we can also attack from the south. We finished an arena. This city has writer's guild, so let's grab an amphitheater. Next. Oh, and we can get a caravan. Looks like we lost one, which is actually a good thing, because we can get that quest done faster. And regain our alliance. Great musician. Okay. So let's regain our alliance, shall we? We can actually get... A cargo ship. Sounds good to me, we can do that. Pop the musician right away. And we got some promotions. I honestly thought Carthage will be stronger than this by now. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Okay, she will obviously try to defend herself. I can't blame her. We should still be careful about this, even though we do have an obvious military advantage. Okay, yeah, that is quite a few units. We need to take them down. But our siege units will focus on attacking the city. It only has 42 combat strength. 
It should go down relatively easily. Great general one tile closer. So... What now? We can definitely get rid of a cannon. With our fusilier. Okay, let's do that. Take him down. I don't mind if we lose a unit or two, the important part is taking cities from Carthage. That's our number one goal. The most important goal. Okay, Inquisitor up here. Do we still need one? Yes, we do. We need at least one more after this. And we got another great general, nice. I will almost certainly start a citadel somewhere, but not just yet. I want to see how much we can conquer. So kill this guy. Oh, that wasn't quite enough. Never mind. I thought he will die for sure, but I guess not. On the bright side, it's not like he can do a whole lot anymore. Now we can attack the Lancer. And keep attacking the city. Here you go. Yeah, let's attack the city. We could pillage some tiles. Maybe if we take damage, not yet. There's no need to do that yet. And we can kill the Lancer. Yup, there we go. Looking good. Stay fortified. And one more Gatling gun. Where do we send it? This way. Yep. Let's stay out of Torfan's bombardment range. Okay, yeah, this is good. Oh, and we can still attack the cannon with the Lancer, and that will actually kill it. Nice. 135 fate, too. This is looking pretty good so far. Looking promising. If we could cripple Carthage, then we could focus on Monty. Monty is going to be much, much tougher to crack, because he has that stupid red fort. Look at this, 123 combat strength. That's insane. That's three times higher than Carthaginian cities. Just let that sink in for a moment. That's actually insane. So, another Inquisitor. I think that's the last one we need for now. I wouldn't mind a few faith buildings. Yeah, because we still need them. I'm going to buy them manually, though. How much do they cost again? 750, so we can actually get one right away. Let's see. Yeah, we can get them. Alright, let's get started on that. Here, on auto purchase, that will do. The gems are repaired, and we should probably get rid of that road. Let's keep it for now, we can afford it, it's fine. Not exactly a problem. And we'll have to wait for Railroad before our workers can do anything else. They are pretty much done improving everything around here. This style could still use an improvement. But he wants to be protected. We can do that later. That will be a farm. And back to Carthage. Let's see, this is looking very, very promising. The only thing we need are more siege units, really. Maybe kill that Fusilier. Yeah, we can move closer, that's fine. Just be careful. Yep, this is good. I don't want to be in Torfan's bombardment range all that much. But it's probably fine. It's fine. Here, that will be quite a lot of damage. And we'll use that hill over there. Now, another Fusilier. And we should finish off this guy. So if we move out of the way... No. Never mind. I thought I'll be able to attack with the Gatling gun, but no, we can't do that. Pillage and then move down here. I can still kill him with the Fusilier. So let's kill him before he runs away or something like that. Then attack the city. Here, it's down to yellow. And the Fusilier. We can kill that guy. Yup. 
Okay, looking good, 157 faith. We'll get a lot of faith from this. And there's the envoy. How much influence do we have? 228? Okay, that will be enough for a while. 358? I think I'll send him west. Let's send him west. Oh, and we will be getting a cruiser in 9 turns. I'm still waiting for one more policy to get started on the Eiffel Tower, but the Slater Mill is only 6 turns away. We could probably pay to get it done. That will give us 25% production. So just over 400 hammers. It's 6 turns away. Yeah, we could get it done. 970. It's tempting. Okay, let's try. It will be done in two turns. I hope we aren't going to lose it now. <laughs> that would be bad. Production. So, what's next? A bank wouldn't hurt. I think we have enough units. But... Yeah, field gun will take 13 turns. Let's grab a bank. Here, we are getting one more field gun from Rio in two turns. So that will be enough. Arena, that's only two turns, and then Aqueduct. Sounds good. In before somebody builds Slater Mill. Okay, we did lose one Fusilier, but that's fine. Okay, no Slater Mill. We should be able to get it. Unless someone builds it literally right now. No need for a road over there. So, back to the front line. Let's see. Let's do some more damage to the city. This will be good experience, if nothing else. We can kill this guy. Oh, never mind. Well, I need to back up with that unit anyway. Then we can kill him. I can attack Torfan if I want to. I mean, I don't see why not. We can start doing some damage to it. Alright, more. We need a few more turns to take this one. Here, we killed the unit inside. Back up or stay here? I think it's fine if we stay here. Which fusilier did we lose? Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, that was to be expected. I did overextend slightly with that guy. Here, that will do. Oh, now she has field guns. Okay. So we definitely need to hurry up. It's almost down to red. Okay then, you know what? Let's move in with the field gun and move the wounded fusilier out of range. That will give us more damage. So, Inquisitor will go west. And we can get another building. Oh, we still need one more Inquisitor, technically. Alright, that can wait. We definitely won't lose the religion at this point. Bank. Maybe. We already have a garden. Castle? We don't need a castle in here. Circus? We might need extra happiness once we take the cities from Carthage. So let's grab the Circus. We might actually need it. We'll see about that. So, next. Give me my Slater Mill. We got a boss with Monty. Come on. Don't you dare build it. Don't even think about it. Yep, it's ours. There we go. So I think that might turn Astor into our top production city when it's focused on production. Yeah, 140. No, Rio has 169. But that was a very nice production boss to Astor. And we got more coal out of it. So we will finish the arena and then we can build an armory. And then maybe another field gun actually. It will be useful for later. Alright, back up with the Lancer. Definitely. 
First, let's do some damage to the city. We can actually take the city right now. Do we want to? We could wait one turn. Hold on, no, we can take it right now. That should be safe enough. Yeah, it should be safe. Can we kill both Lancers? I can do some damage to that one. Can't quite kill him, but he won't be able to take the city on his own. Alright, let's grab the city and we'll be annexing it. And we got two great works. Nice. That's so good. Nine happiness. So next up, I think we'll go for Turfan. We could even bring the Mongols back, but I'm thinking we are going to need Turfan. Because we need to get through Carthage. And the only way we can get to Carthage is through here, really. Or Hipporigius, but then we might have to fight the frigates. I would rather avoid that. And we should be able to claim that citadel if we take Turfan. That will be quite helpful. So yeah, Torfan is definitely going to be the next target. Meanwhile, we got a few more units to kill. Let's get that done. I think we can get that guy. Maybe. Might not be quite safe standing over here. But I want to kill him. Yeah, we can definitely kill him. Should have moved closer with the general. We can't quite kill him. He's at like one health. Well then, never mind. Pillage. We will probably lose the fusilier right here, but that's fine. Some more damage to Torfan. And that's that for now. We still got that field gun. That's going to be Siege 1 and Siege 2. Let's send it towards Torfan right away. Because, like I said, that is our next target for sure. And move in this direction slightly. Okay, and we are going to need a road leading to our newest city. So now our workers can get something useful to do. Certainly. You need to heal up. And off you go. So, we are not done. We got a lot more work to do. But that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.